Hello everyone, my name is the Party Hat Herbin, and today we're doing another video on Terraria. I'm sorry I haven't been here in a while, I really am. I will be posting videos more soon. But today we're gonna be working on we're gonna be doing a video on the best arena for mechanical boss fights. So this for this arena was originally made really quickly, but basically it's the same thing. So basically the main use about this arena is being able to fly, but fly infinitely, but still getting the dot, but still getting the dodge out of it when you need. So this arena lets you dodge, it allows you to keep Hermie boot speed for when you land on the platforms and it also allows you to get healing from your heart lanterns and your campfires while at the same time being able to use your grappling hook Hermes boots and shield of Cthulhu to your advantage best part about this arena is that you there's no actual block so it's not like you can run into it well there is only where you have the heart lanterns but these heart lanterns aren't even used for anything Besides healing, you can replace these with a lot of things. Um, you won't be able to get these two items. I'll be replacing those with like this when I show you an example. Oh, I have a beetle armor. Hmm. Let me go check. Well, let me guys talk. Let me talk to you guys. I'm gonna go get some armor. Yeah, this arena is um, pretty is pretty big. I mean. It's about the same as we as some other people's arenas. It's about 32 blocks this way, six, and uh, 20 blocks up, and from this pillar, it's 32 to the other side. I made this in a hurry, so this isn't exact, but it's pretty much. I made this arena off off the off the scale of this which is fine if you th which I think is fine but you can literally make this arena this is designed so you can have like a nice decoration at the bottom you can have hammered platforms in the bottom like this to keep your banners and I don't think it'd take that long to kill a slime but yeah, that way it's based off of 5 design here and it also allows you to keep light on here. But also place campfires. You can place more than two heart lanterns. Only I just did two just for simplicity. The heart lantern reaches up to about here, but that's why you can put two more at the top. And uh, keep your campfires. It also allows you to keep light. And if you keep your world flat as I do, um, it's also really good. If you want me to actually start a new Let's Play on Terraria, I'd be delighted to. I'll actually finish this one instead of um, leaving it to die. Because uh, I'm actually going to take more responsibility about my YouTube channel and all that. But yeah, let me see what armor I got. Hey dudes, um, my audio messed up in this portion of it, so in to sum it up, um, we got Mage Titanium Armor, we got a Hurtful Crystal Storm, those are the armor and weapons we're going to use, and the main accessories that you need are Frostbark Boots, um, Shield of Cthulhu, or, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're an ex this is more of an expert mode playthrough, remember, but normal mode, you can replace the I Cthulhu Shield with something else. So I could through the shield, frostbark boots, mana flower, wings, and worm scarf. They can all be replaced with whatever you want. I just suggesting these for expert mode. In normal mode, they can be replaced with whatever you want. Make sure you have a lot of greater mana potions, which you can get from the wizard, which you can usually find underground right at the beginning of hard mode. So yeah, guys, um, this will pretty much skip to part of the video that will be a little bit of a huge cutoff. But hopefully you guys will understand, and yeah, see you guys in the video. Goodbye. 
Okay, guys, um, I got the stuff. I managed to grab myself a mana flower. And, um, yeah, this is the basic setup I'm going. Oh, I can't use that. Okay, so, this is stuff I'm going. Arcane Worm Scarf, Menacing Shield of Cthulhu. The prefixes don't matter that much. It's your preference, but here's the stuff I'm using. Um, I couldn't find another accessory in time. But otherwise, I'm doing pretty good in terms of stuff. Okay, the... Okay, I'll just wait. Once the slime stop hopping off the screen. Yeah. Here we go. The trick about this arena is... Use... Your shield of Cthulhu, your grappling hook to your ability. I haven't even been damaged once, but I could change if I don't be careful. Like right there, I wasn't careful, I just charge into it. The trick is to stay close to the heart lanterns, and whenever you need a quick dash in one direction. Basically, the trick here is to keep flying as well as you can. Because if you don't keep flying, you're doomed. I mean, that's why your pre-hard mode arenas usually suck. Because you need an arena, but you also don't want it to be so bad that you can't fly either. Like right here, this arena is only so you can use your grappling hook when needed. You never run out of flying power. A good way to play this, play against these boss fights, is like to use your grappling hook if you're not running away from the boss, but then dash the opposite direction. Like right here. Oh, I didn't do it right. They also got to make sure that you don't stop yourself too quickly, otherwise that's an easy loss. So like, if you fall are falling and the fireball hits you, it's your fault. Because this arena is designed to help you. Because basically, if you're flying, you're basically pretty much good. I mean, I suggest using titanium armor and a broken crystal storm, but if you're using another glass, I understand why you would. Like, especially when, if it's a boss that, like, this arena is great against the Skeletron Prime, for example. But, like, against the Destroyer, it's almost luck in expert mode. And also, if you do end up falling to the bottom, having bottom platforms like I do right there are also a great thing. Also, a good way about using platforms in the way that I do if you end up do landing on one of the towers, um, you can easily just keep running off them. Like this, for example, you can keep running. This arena is designed to help you dodge, not necessarily help you fight the boss. You gotta make sure your aim is always on point against these against bosses, especially like the twins. There's different variations of this fight of this arena that you can make. I've done it against Plantera. Not on this world, but I've done it against Plantera. You can't use it for the you can't use it for Duke Fishron just because of its moving pattern. But if you I'll put a video in the description of my how to and how to defeat um, Duke Fishron in expert mode. Because in pre-hard mode he's easy. Um basically every boss not pre-hard mode. Every boss fight in non expert mode is super easy. Oh, don't get stuck like I just did. Um, but yeah, otherwise, just keep using the strap. Heal when needed. If you're not top, if you're not commentating like I am, or if you have a partner to play with, this arena is. These boss fights also get extremely easy as well. But the trick is, if you have titanium armor, that usually you're fake. Your mistakes are fixed just because 
that that one time when you get hit is knocked out because because um it's it's a it's absorbed by the immunity of your armor. Yeah, just you gotta make sure you use that shield of Cthulhu you have to your ability, because if you don't, then it's pretty much um, relying on your flying skills, which isn't always the best thing to do, even if you're the best flyer in the entire game. As we can see, Spatsmatism is about to, should turn into that. It's um, second stage. I don't know if it has an official third stage or not, even though it does get progressively harder, like the I Cthulhu does. But basically, this arena also allows you to run away from Spatsmatism's charging attack fairly well. But if you're falling, in a, if you're in a falling animation, um, that's the best way to dodge the, uh, the twin, the twin charging attack. Because when you're flying up, you're much slower. As you see, my max speed when fort, when going up, is 43. But my when falling down, I'm usually at like 52, 53. When flying up, it's not usually that fast unless you're really good at flying. It just, for some reason, the spasmatism tends to fly a lot slower when going down than going up. Like right here is a great time to use your grappling hook, that way just to get that extra boost of speed away from spasmatism. Spasmatism is the only real, um, challenge in this boss fight. Oh, I just stood in one place. Um, but yeah, this boss fight, this arena is actually pretty good. I haven't used it against Moon Lord yet. But I will make a video to see if you guys want, if it works against Moon Lord. But you guys can also try it on your own. It wouldn't hurt trying it on your own. It just helps, this arena just helps you keep your distance, keep your speed, and uh, not mess up in general. And remember, if you're in expert mode and you have the shield of Cthulhu, you can easily just dodge into an enemy if you see that they're going to hit you. Like I do sometimes, like, if I have to. I didn't get away from them far enough. That's when I should have used my grappling hook. Like a grappling hook ability in this arena is just is so OP. It just helps you get away from a boss fight so easily. I knew I had an immunity buff right there, so I could easily just run into him. Oh, he's only a thousand left. Of course, you can get a better weapon. And I'm talking and not concentrating. Okay. Okay, this is where this boss fight will start to get hard, especially if I'm not careful. Okay, there goes Spathmatism. Now I just need to hopefully... You don't really need to worry about Retinizer that much. You just gotta make sure you do damage on him. Of course, if you have a better weapon than a crystal storm, use it. Um, yes, you can beat this boss fight before nighttime ends. It's just a matter of how much damage you do. If you're not talking like me, you can probably hit your shots 100% of the time, or at least 99.9% .9 of the time. But yeah. Twins is always the annoying boss fight. If you have a friend to help you damage this thing, that's a lot better. But otherwise, you've got to hope that damage and crits play in your favor. Because otherwise, it'll be impossible to defeat this in the nighttime. But yeah, this or, this boss fight's more to help you survive. Um, if you, you just got to make sure you get your hits on these things. Twins have always been the most annoying boss fight. But I'm sure you can easily... Well, I'm positive you can easily beat Skeletron of this arena. Because Skeltron doesn't move as much, and even though he has more defense, you can hit him more often. Make sure you make him soak in that DPS from... Okay. Well, yeah, that's the Twins fight. As you see, I wasn't trying to kill it. I was just trying to fight. But I was just trying to fight. 
But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want me to make another video to see if this works on Moonlord 2, I will. And um, yeah, and I'll also put a new video for pre-hard mode boss fights. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.